Hello and welcome to today's video. A warning from the beginning, this video does contain flashing lights. Well anyway, let's get started. And the big question you want to ask yourself, which is brighter? A 15 watt T8 fluorescent light or a 70 watt twin LED light? Bit of a stupid question really, but this is what we're going to do today because this LED light has a strange fault. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the information on the two lights and then we'll turn them on and then I'll show you how I actually get this 70 watt LED light to actually work. Well, anyway, we'll turn on, we'll show you the fluorescent light first. And this is Sylvania, made in Great Britain. It's white, it's F15, 15 watt. And we'll turn it on. And to turn on a fluorescent light, of course, all you need is a starter unless it's electronic and then the ballast does it and if the tube or the starter go or the ballast go you can quickly change them and then they'll work so there we go the fluorescent light is now on and now I'm going to turn on the LED light and that is it now my electrician friend got me this light apparently they've been having a problem with a couple of these and the information on the light is here and these basically replaced all of the fluorescent lights in the factory and since they've had these fitted for a couple of years some of them have developed interesting faults. Now this one works perfectly fine after it's been on for several hours, but it takes several hours to turn on fully. And it only starts working when it gets warm. So I'm going to simulate this light getting warm by uh, using a two kilowatt fan heater to basically warm up the light and it will literally light up as the video goes and we won't need to speed up the video. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, remove the fluorescent light and remove the outer cover of this LED light. So here we have the um, LED lights now out of the casing. And to do this, you have to actually cut the casing to get it out. And this is the only way you can get to the drivers, which I believe are the fault on this light. At the moment, we have one set of LEDs flashing slowly. And these slowly get slower and slower and slower and will eventually run in a dim mode. The side that's nearest you is currently doing nothing and these will eventually come on dim, slowly brighten up, start flashing and these actually go up to full brightness eventually. And this is what makes this little light appear to be working fine. Well, I'm gonna turn the fan heater on now to simulate the light being on for a long period of time. I am going to play some music during this. You may want to speed up this, but it will happen fairly quickly.
as you can see the light is now very flickery but it's now fully lit so to turn on this 70 watt LED light all you need is a Glen 2000 2 kilowatt heater not recommended and the theory that you should run LEDs cold to make them last longer doesn't work with this light fitting well anyway I'll put it back in its case at the moment it is still flickering a little bit but now it'll just steadily get to solid state and work perfectly fine until you turn it off and then when you turn it back on again it's got the same fault again so I'll just place the light back inside the cover and we'll end this video one moment please so here we are with the light back in its shade still flickering a little bit but this 70 watt LED light will now work perfectly fine and is now considerably brighter than the 15 watt fluorescent light well, I'd like to say thank you for watching please like and subscribe and see you again soon goodbye